team members, we actually come all the way from Germany. So what you see today, you've seen a lot of uh, 3D and a lot of the propeller and just saw a little bit of the extra. You've seen a lot of the jet flying down, obviously with the jet aircraft like Pablo earlier on. Um, this is what you're about to see now, Luke is displayed, is the ultimate fusion of the two. It's the 3D jet aircraft using the fast engine, using the dolphin, 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 using build up to a display. This is all a scheduled routine practice flight. Super low night Looks like a very good maneuver getting the rudder on the side of the engine. You can tell he's putting the input on the elevator and the rudder on the road. Part of the starting off stock is uh, not only to build the display up, let the music catch up, but also to burn fuel. Believe it or not, this aeroplane needs the minimum fuel load it possibly can so it can make the most fuel now that it's towards the end of the flight. Beautiful slow roll there, very, very well done. I hear a clap there. Ladies and gentlemen, Luca is a consummate professional, but he is, after all, just an airshow pilot. And I know from personal experience, airshow pilots react really, really well to appearing, cheering, cheering, all of it. So if you see anything nice throughout this day, please feel free to cheer, whoop, wallop, he'll hear it all, and uh, it generally makes the flying better. As I said, Luca is one of our team pilots from Germany, so he represents Horizon Hobby. Although, whilst we don't produce this airplane, all of the electronics in there are Spectrum branded. So, Luca's using the iX20 radio, which is a similar radio as a lot of us will use out here. He uses the power safe receivers, which are the redundant receivers. He uses our top of the line 6300 Spectrum servos, which is a, a, a great testament to the power and accuracy when you see them when able to suspend it. So that's using the cross structure to raise eight and nine and nine for Sunday. Most people with a bad time now. You can only double time now. He goes straight back in to the 3D flight. So the fully speed headband is there. So the wings probably produce things from very small percentage of the lift out there. He's using the power pack and the massive power from the jet pack P200 turbine to produce a manoeuvre which is a rolling harrier circuit. Very common with a propeller aeroplane. And actually not that difficult with a propeller aeroplane. And we're moving the loop of the flight and we're going to be able to do the same thing. Let's go the minimum speed means that while it's all going to work, it'll be very, very slow. You might be able to see that I've got the good boost down the line, so the tail coming edge of the wing actually moves. He needs that, and whilst we forward fly, that would be very sensitive. In this fully stalled fly, it's just about enough to maintain control. Thank you. 
the person's fear. He's trying every one of those controls. Now he leads into the power of the rifle roll card. He's rolling there, putting the elevator rider, elevator rider, elevator rider. Now more elevator to push it over the top of the rifle rolling loop into a negative flat spin. That's about as flat a negative flat spin as you could ever get. One of the things you'll notice with Luca is all of these finishes, all of these ends as you do that, absolutely calculated and you know that they want to do. But it's just easy to get one of these little bit wrong. Direction. You can see it, you know, sometimes you might have to be short because they know you have to make a correction. So far in the last three minutes, I've not seen this young man make a single mistake, so he's very, very impressive. Aeroplane weighs around about 45 pounds wet. Um, they have a very tight weight restriction in Europe, which is 25 kilos. Anything over it becomes quite problematic, so this is still really wet. The design on the airplane is a colour scheme on the airplane that's done by Lucas Palmer, Sibba. Sibba sort of always travels with Lucas, he's been a big supporter of his hobby. Just great partnership. While Lucas has been a designer, he's designed the colour schemes and the graphics. He has a company, Sibba Design, which um, produces the colour schemes and the graphics. In fact, she came here this week to apply graphics to uh, Machine of Mine, which is a giant 30 foot span glider that's in the uh, maintenance hangar. And uh, yeah, it's incredible to see such a uh, mother son combination produce really, really incredible. Luca just showed that he has another Aries XL, the same airplane as this being built now in Germany for our big M display, which is the largest air show in Europe that Horizon holds um, in August, which is actually the same way it's produced. So I don't know whether that means Luke is planning on selling this one. I have a feeling this might end up staying in the US, uh, this particular airplane, which is being a European resident myself, knowing coming to America, it's quite convenient to sell aeroplanes before you go back rather than have to bring them back. Gear down, flaps down, lights on. Looks like this is the end of the display. Please give it up for Luca Bauman.